It's Monday after I made last week's vlog. I just uploaded it and everything. Um, I needed some lunch. So, I'm eating grapes. Like I said, small changes. You know, a little bit of fruit is a good thing to start the day. Even in a house or a garage studio that has big ass Dorito chips, cup of noodles, I was eating so badly before, but those are also for, cause that's reality, trying to eat under 1800 calories a day, so that's my lunch, which is good. Like I said, I'm proud of these changes. They're small, minute, little bit of exercise, little healthier eating. It's gonna make a big difference and you guys are gonna see it in the weeks to come. Guess what time it is? It's time for another episode of SAG Lottery, where you get mail from SAG as an actor, and you know their residual checks. But how much is each one? You don't know until you open up the package. It's time for the SAG Lottery. All right, so my dad just opened up this gift from a good friend of his named Pat. It says, create your own stepping stone princess. And my dad is blind, <laughs> and this is an art project thing, so I don't think he would do it. But maybe there's something hidden inside. So let's hope for the best. So you ready to open up the rest of it? Oh, I'll try it and see what happens. Oh. Okay, here we go. Package number one. How much will it be? Will I be able to buy a meal or a penny gumball? We'll find out. Yes, some checks are like two cents. Okay, opening it up far away. Oh, it's a good one. I don't want to, you know, show you guys addresses or anything, but it's two hundred and ninety-four dollars. All right, so good news. Wow, it is not a little girl's art project. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was a little girl's art project. You see, it says stepping stone. Create your, my dad's blind, he can't do it, what the hell. It is actually some music CDs. Oh, is it? Yes. That's what I thought. They were put inside. Oh, I see. What is it for? It is for Friends. TV show Friends, $249. The San Francisco 1987. Wow. So this is music from my dad playing at this famous restaurant in Torrance called the San Franciscan. Happy birthday to me. All right, the next one. People always ask, do these come all the time? Uh, to be honest with you, not that much money, but I get checks at least five times a month, seven times a month. Three dollars and eighty-five cents. That's music from your past that you recorded on the drums with Patty and Freddie and all of them. So you looking forward to listening to it? Oh man, I might as well. 1984 and 1987. Wow. That's many years ago, huh? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, that's that's the good times. That was that was when I think that's when was learning how to play. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Well, well, they were learning how to play, not you. You've been playing since the 50s. Yeah, I know. Or 40s. Man, yeah, I know. After taxes? Oh, I should have looked on after taxes on the other one. I get a whopping $2.11. Plus, I've got to pay a manager and an agent 10% and 15% to a manager out of that $2. So I made a dollar. Yeah. Oh, that was for the Millers. So just look straight ahead of you and say, thank you, Patty. Yeah, thank you, Patty. Say, I'm looking forward to listening to all our good times. I'm looking forward to listening to all of our good times. Last check in the sad lottery. We're already at $250, basically. Ooh, not bad. Says $51.59. But after taxes, $30.87 plus 
10% to an agent that got me the job and 15% to my manager at the time. So maybe $20 after I'm done. This check is for Bones. The TV show Bones. Okay. Oh wait, there's a note. Ah. There's a note. Oh, no. I'm gonna read the note to you. Yeah. Hi, Wyman and the boys. Hope you have a lot of fun listening to us and lots of memories from these CDs. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your years of hard work and musicianship. You are always making us sound good and better than we were. Aww. Love and stay healthy this new year. Patty. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. She's a nice lady anyway. I love, love Patty. Yep. I always have. So, she thanked you for all the hard work of playing drums and making them sound better than they were. All in all, not a bad SAG lottery. The total amount shall be here of how much I made in the SAG lottery. Probably $275. She thanked you for all the hard work of playing drums and making them sound better than they were. So guess what that means? Even though you guys were a band and a group, yeah. you were the rock star. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That's nice. Me and you, we've always been the star, right? Yeah, right. We're always the one they remember. Yeah. Why? Because we're the shit. <laughs> Say it with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Three. We're the, the shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just awoken up with a big car crash in front of my house. I'm kind of nervous about filming anything, you know, because um, people get upset or whatever the situation might be. But I hope everybody's okay. Mm. So how awesome was that? My dad getting music that he made, playing at restaurants and playing gigs from 1984 and 1987. Boy, my dad was smiling. He's listening to it right now. I'm going to copy them to make sure that we have them safe and secure for the future. But how awesome is that to see your father smile and enjoy memories? So the ambulance just came. Apparently a young gentleman wrapped his car behind me around a pole. So around a pole and he's lucky to be alive. My opinion. These are those moments in life that you gotta really cherish and enjoy. Cause again, as you guys know, my father's 87, no 88. Blind, but awesome. It's a good day. It's a good day. So yeah, that's uh, the scariest thing. This young man wrapped his car around um, an electricity pole. And the fire trucks and the police department and everybody else, they're starting to roll up right now. But boy, man, it looked bad. I didn't want to get too close. I was nervous about it, but he's lucky to be alive, in my opinion. And it's moments like this that you just go, wow. So all the stuff I say in my videos about being blessed, this is it. Wow. So on last week's vlog, I got a big package from SAG, Academy Awards, and Netflix of all those movies and shit. And now I got this little package. I should have shown it, opened it up, but it's got a little code for a year free of Netflix. Boy, they hook us up, and we're very lucky. That's pretty awesome. So I got a year free of Netflix. Happy birthday, me. So, I'm just going to throw this out there. I was online um, doing some stuff, and I found the trailer, 
number two for a movie called Logan. I really didn't know what it was, but I knew it had Hugh Jackman because I saw the picture. And I was like, Logan? Is that Wolverine? And I watched the trailer, and let me just tell you, that's my most anticipated movie of 2017. I freaking loved it. I should have did an instant reaction on, but again, I don't normally do that, so I'm not used to it. But I, I, I cannot wait. So it's Friday. I'm about to go live on my Raider Central talk show. I'll leave the link in the description. Every two weeks on Friday nights, I do a talk show about the Raiders, talking football and whatnot. This is the Raider Central Talk Show 2017 Off Season Edition. The season's over. We got a big show for you guys. We're doing the season in review. But I can't sit down for like longer than an hour without my back starting, my muscles starting to fizzle up. And it's really getting on my nerves because I'm in so much pain walking back to the house. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions to heal that, my muscles are, I don't know, I just do not understand what's going on, and I'm in so much pain after I sit down for longer than an hour, people are like, well then don't do that, but I have so much work to do, that I, I start doing it, and then I, I, I can't stay in the garage studio doing work, and I need to for a living, so... Uh, the bad with the good. Goonies never say die. So yeah, as you guys can see, the, um, a lot's going on. And the young man, uh, I think he officially went to the hospital after the adrenaline wore down. And, you know, he realized he's alive. His body started doing things. You know, probably hurt back, something, legs, arms, I don't know. Pretty fucking interesting. So, this has been one adventure-filled week, right? Not. But Goonies never say die. I stayed home all weekend. I told you guys I don't do much, but I'm trying to get there. I'm a little bit more energetic and able to think about things I want to get done thanks to the exercise and, you know, changing a few things in my life, which you guys have been on the journey with me. But now the detectives are on the scene. And like the passenger side door is open, not the driver's side. So were there two of them who was driving? All that other goodness. Uh, pretty interesting, but it's pretty damn scary because I had a friend a few years back who wrapped himself around the pole. He got hit by another car, then his car wrapped around a pole. Officially not hit a pole, but wrapped around it. So I'm very proud and very happy. And... I just want to share the love because we need love right now. We had the inauguration the other day. I don't want to speak about that because um, people politically are just hating on each other right now for every, every reason. And it's really boggling my mind. And he died in front of his mother's apartment. He was driving home late at night and there was a car chase between cops and a robber. But they had the, the women's march and that inspired a lot of people. I know it sounds funny, cops and robbers, but um, they, they ran the red light, hit him as he was going home. His car wrapped around a pole. He died. And then um, what happened is his parents' house or where he lives is right next door in a big apartment building. And everybody heard the crash because the car made all this noise, smoked, almost caught on fire, everything. So they come downstairs to look to see what happened, and it was their son's car. And then they found out that he passed away. It's pretty, pretty scary. It's going to be a very interesting 2017. But I can't control none of that political stuff, whether I believe in it all or I don't. I believe we live in the Matrix, because this is all bullshit and it's a shit show. If 
you, if you ask my opinion, man. So, ugh, I had to live through that a f a many years back. So when I saw this, I walked up to the young kid. He was like yelling and on the phone. I think he's Armenian or Persian or something, but I just grabbed him. I said, hey man, you know, you're lucky to be alive. I swear I hope I get my car this week so I can go out even that much more. Oh, I know I've been telling you guys that for months now, but the mechanic, I don't know. I picked the wrong mechanic. He's like, oh man, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. I was like, you know, take a second, bro. <laughs> Please just take a second. Regardless of what the police do, you know, the detectives, the city, they're gonna charge him for a pole on top of his car. Like, oh my God, just like, I said, you know, just realize you're lucky to be alive. So, but at, at that moment, he, you know, he wasn't having it. <clears throat> and we're gonna go on some journeys. We're gonna get a puppy. My friend should be down in March. And it's gonna be fun. Thanks for being a part of this journey with me. And this week... I wanted to go watch a Broadway musical that meant a lot to me because it's coming to L.A. It's called Rent. But unfortunately, I lagged on getting tickets. So they're now so expensive that I can't afford them. But I might try and go do the lottery. But I'm going to end this. I normally end it with, you know, welcome to reality. But today I'm going to end this this way because it makes a lot of sense. It's from Rent. Because I'm a rent head. That's right. Hey, everybody, there's no day but today. It's no future, there is no past. Thank God this moment's not the last. Hey, everybody, there's no day but today.